the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And may the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Well, good morning, everybody. Today is the Feast of the Annunciation, the Feast of Mary hearing this news. She's to become a mother and her saying yes. And it's the patronal feast of the Montfort family. The Montfort missionaries, the daughters of wisdom, the brothers of St. Gabriel. Our whole spirituality, our whole thing is incarnation. And so this is a really big feast for us. We're happy you can celebrate it with us. Let us begin calling on the mercy of God that came through this incarnation, through this redemption. Lord Jesus, you are the hope of nations. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the word made flesh. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the one who sets us free. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins. Bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. O oh God, most high, you extended your gracious mercy to the whole human race through your Son, Jesus Christ, who took flesh of the Virgin Mary. You gave him to the world as your servant, whose delight was to do your will. Keep the church, which is his body, faithful to your purpose, that all the ends of the earth may know your saving power. Grant it through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives, who reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, Ask for a sign from the Lord your God. Let it be deep as another world, or as high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask. I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David. It, is it not enough for you to weary people? Must you also weary my God? Therefore, the Lord himself will give you this sign. The virgin shall be with child and bear a son and shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The word of the Lord. Amen. Here I am, Lord. I come to do your will. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Sacrifice or oblation you wish not, but ears open to obedience you gave me. Holocausts or sin offerings you sought not. Then I said, behold, I come. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. In the written scroll it is prescribed for me to do your will, O oh my God, is my delight, and your law is within my heart. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. I announced your justice in the vast assembly. I did not restrain my lips, as you, O oh Lord, know. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Your justice I kept not hid within my heart. Your faithfulness and your salvation I have spoken of. I have made no secret of your kindness and your truth in the vast assembly. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. It's not, not the gospel yet. <laughs> it's a second reading. reading from the letter to the Hebrews. 
Brothers and sisters, it is impossible that the blood of bulls and goats take away sins. For this reason, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me. In holocausts and sin offerings you took no delight. Then I said, as it is written of me in the scroll, Behold, I come to do your will, O God. First he says, sacrifices and offerings, holocausts and sin offerings, you neither desired nor delighted in. These are offered according to the law. Then he says, behold, I come to do your will. He takes away the first to establish the second. By this will, we have been consecrated through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. The word of the Lord. And the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. And then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great, will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, how can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who is called barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. And Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. And then the angel departed from her. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. wonderful prayer of the Angelus that I hope people can say every day uh, sums all this up. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to your word. The word was made flesh and dwelt among us. It's all kind of right there. This is a feast of annunciation, but also of incarnation. It's a feast to celebrate that all of creation and all of human beings are made so that Jesus eventually at one point, so that the word of God eventually 
could take flesh and become among us and save us and heal us and then bring us all back to God together. It's a feast of immense love, God's love for us, but then right away we have to be loving all God's creation, God's people, God's children. And so I'm going to shut up and ask you to listen to a wonderful song. I gave you the words. And it's just about that. How what we do, what we're called to do, we do because we love God and all that belongs to God. We are loved by God ourselves. So let's just pray that. And then at the end, please do take those papers home with you in case you could pray with that.
So shall we stand and pray? For the church, striving to faithfully reflect the face of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the leaders in our communities, longing to have ears and hearts open to the obedience of God's will, we pray to the Lord. For all those who face physical or mental challenges, those striving for wholeness, healing, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all adoptive families who open their homes and their hearts, sharing God's lift, gift of love with specially chosen children, we pray to the Lord. For our own families, longing to grow in faith and trust, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all the sick, you yourself if you're not well, and those who care for the sick each day. We remember in a special way Jennifer Matsula, Julia, Lynn, and Katie. We pray to the Lord. And for our dearly departed, we pray in a special way for Jerry Spino, for Sister Margaret McCabe, for Hal, for Patrick Ryan. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And our Mass today is being offered for the friends of Wisdom House, both living and deceased. God's blessings in this life and in the next. We pray to the Lord. Let us pray in quiet for the things most special to us this day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Oh God, we are ever mindful of Mary's faithful willingness to say yes. Hear our petitions born of love and trust offered in the name of your Son. Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you fruit of the earth, work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness, we have received the wine that we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. So then let us pray that our sacrifice will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the welfare of the church. Be pleased, Almighty God, to accept your church's offering, so that she who is aware that her beginnings lie in the incarnation of your only begotten Son, may rejoice to celebrate his mysteries on this solemnity. He who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, with your and lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ the Lord. For the Virgin Mary heard with faith 
that the Christ was to be born among us and for our sake by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit. Lovingly, she bore him in her immaculate womb that the promises to the children of Israel might come about and the hope of nations be accomplished beyond all telling. Through him, the hosts of angels adore your majesty. And they rejoice in your presence forever. So may our voices join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. And therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night that he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing and broke the bread, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and giving you thanks he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your son and filled with his Holy Spirit that we may become one body, one spirit in Christ. And may he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, and especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles, your glorious martyrs, and all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. And may this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O oh Lord, Advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Leonard, our bishop, the order of bishops and clergy, and the entire people, your 
the Son has given to me. And listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have gathered here before me. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servants, our dear ones, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection when from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters, to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, Give kind admittance to your kingdom. For there we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you, our God, as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages and praise you without end through Christ our Lord through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And let us pray then for the full coming of God's kingdom on this earth, as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Peace, everyone. Happy feast. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. And blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and the blood of the Lord keep us all together unto everlasting life.
Christmas feast. Uh, I'd like to sing the Salve Regina, the Hail Holy Queen in Latin. If you'd like to follow the words, uh, it's number 699. 699. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Dulce, Et spes nostra salve. A te clamamus, exulas filii eve. A te suspiramus, gementes et flentes, in hac lacrimarum valve. Ea ergo, advocata nostra, il vos tuus misericordes oculos ar nos converte. Et Iesu, benedictum fructum ventris tui, nobis post hoc exilium ostende. O clemens, O Let us pray. Confirm in our minds the mysteries of the true faith, O Lord, so that confessing that he who was conceived of the Virgin Mary is true God and true man, we may, through the saving power of his resurrection, merit to attain eternal joy. We pray it through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And may the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 And our celebration is ended, so let us go in peace. Amen. Thanks Amen. be to God. Well, thank you, everybody, for being with us. And the, the gift shop is now once again open. The inventory is done, and you're going to love it. So anyway, be, feel free. God bless, and be well. <laughs>